Hello again, everyone, and welcome back to Topless Cooking with Tim. I know it's been a while, but we're back. And I'm sorry he has a shirt on, but it'll come off soon, don't worry. So tonight we are making, from the Fixate cookbook, uh, quinoa and black bean salad. Now, right there. I fully get it that you can just read the cookbook or you can watch Fixate on BOD and watch Autumn do it, but Autumn will not do it. Top. Oh, baby. Topless. Ooh. Yo, brother! So, Anyhow. first we're going to make the dressing. Yep. Um, half, uh, let me see, a third so, cup of fresh lime juice. You're going to need lime juice. So, I'm like semi-prepared tonight and everything. I got like my ingredients lined up over there. <laughs> it's because of you've got a great ass. Mm -hmm. Piston. Mm -hmm. So, a third cup of the lime juice. Probably faster if I took the top off completely. Yeah. Oh, wait, I did. Uh, nah. I think that comes off. You're yeah. so Um, what else? Uh, the cumin. Cumin, one tablespoon. Mm -hmm. Oh, hopefully this doesn't cause just, just easily. Just tap, gently, gently. Gently tap. Not man tapping, but like girlish oh. man tapping. Oh. There, that, I'll okay, try. Yeah, that is good. Okay. Yep. Um, Use the soft side of your wrist. A uh, tablespoon salt. of sea salt. Does this come off? That doesn't come off. It's a grind. Some of a bee. So I would grind like. Just man measure. There you go, man measure. We're gonna man like measure that. some salt in there until I feel like it's been salted enough. That's quite salty. Yo, okay. sea dog. Uh, okay. What else goes in there? So then you're gonna slowly add the oil. You need a third, a third of a cup. No. Yes, a yes, third a cup third of cup. oil. In a whisk. And I'm supposed to add this as I whisk it? Yes. So I, I don't know if I have the skill. I was gonna say, you may not, so it's it's this while slowly pouring in. Oh I can I can, can I'm gonna try this. Okay. I'm gonna try this. And pour and stir and pour, pour and, and stir, stir and pour and stir. There you go. It didn't look like a slow whisk, it looked more like a brisk whisk. Well, awesome. I don't know. Yep. That's it. Yeah. So, that's that. We're going to set this aside. So that's the dressing? That's the dressing. Dressing is done. Dressing is done. And the undressing is I'm, also done. I was going to say. Is, is also Alright, so the next step we have, we are going to be combining the vinegar, pepper, if desired, and of course it's desired. Mm-hmm. And uh, and the beans, vinegar, pepper. Yeah, that's it. So now the beans, you gotta rinse them. So I got a colander here, and I'm gonna do it over the sink. But just crack the can in here. I'll, uh, I don't know if you guys can see. Let's try. It's really not that hard. You just and I get the super awesome ones with the pullback lid. I just dump them into the colander. And there's usually some left over in the bottom of the can, so yeah. you just have to put some water in the can and rinse it out. Sounds like you're working too hard. <laughs> breathe, right. Timmy, breathe. And then you just shake a shake a shake a over the water. You just kind of want to get that uh Goop, the slime, we'll call it, out of it. Do you want to add the slime to the mix? No, that's no. why you, that's why you that's rinse, why you rinse it. it. Good to know. Knowing is half the battle. All right. So that is that. Now, what am I putting this in? I'm unprepared right now. <laughs> so, well, we were thawing out our, our corn because we got a bag of frozen corn, but you can put that right, All right. in there. So just dump, dump. Yeah. And then we'll move this over temporarily. Broccoli down. But I have to add this to it. Oh, that's true. I'm thinking ahead for the peppers. Haha. Okay. Ha. Oh. Thinking ahead. Thinking ahead. All right. Four and a half teaspoons of vinegar. One. Two. Oh, this is. Just not working out well. Three, <laughs> four. I'm making a mess over here. Four. Oh, sweet Jesus. Yeah, sure. That looks good. Oh, gosh. Five. 
And then pepper to measure, pepper to taste. I have no idea how much pepper I want to use, so I'm just going to kind of coat the top and probably melt my face with it later. I suggest you use all of it. <laughs> all right, now do I just stir this together? So you can you can give it a little stir. You still are going to need to cut up your peppers. Mix, it says mix well. You can, yeah, you can. When you read you directions, it works. But what am I mixing it with? A spoon. I got a spoon. You can't have spoons. Mix well so every bean is coated in pepper That properly. counts as one spoon for the day. <laughs> All right. Mixed well. Now to uh, the quinoa was next. We've already cooked the quinoa. I did it ahead of time because I'm going to eat this right now. I'm hungry, so I had Rebecca was awesome enough to cook it. How do you cook the tea quinoa, by the way? Um, depending on um, whatever you might get it, you can rinse it with cold water first, and then you boil water in a pot, and then you drop it into the boiling water, and you cook it anywhere from... It's 15 minutes. 15 it is very specific. Minutes, depending 15 on minutes you. exactly. It's don't, really, don't, don't screw it up. 15 minutes is all you need. So now I'm going to cut the peppers up. I won't show you all of that because that gets boring. I didn't do that ahead of time. But just finally chop them up. Um, I'm actually going to do a better job of finally chopping them. I normally I just man chop them. And Derek would karate chop them. <laughs> <laughs> um, so just finally chop them up. I'll show you what the finished product looks like shortly. You'll do that with the peppers and you'll do that with the cilantro. Yeah. And as soon as I'm done with that, we will be right back to you. Tell them, Steve, Dave. What? All right, so. This is awesome. Oh, dear. I totally forgot that there's this neat invention that chops your veggies for you. And Becca is awesome. And yeah. has one. <laughs> so I've just, never used it. It's a little box. Has a little tray. And has a comb or a pick for your hair. No. You have it, no. no, it's for the vegetables. It's not for your oh, hair. Oh, never mind. Anyway, so you take said vegetable... You cut it basically to the size of this. The square. You lay it down flat and you squish it closed. So Tim's gonna have a lot of fun with this. Uh, oh dear. I will try not to break it. That's what she said. Really wish we had a compost pot. All right, I'm gonna try one chunk. Smart love chunk. Squeeze. You gotta go where your left hand is, right there on the edge. <laughs> that, was, that was so cool. <laughs> I'm just gonna speed this up so much faster, and I'm gonna actually eat dinner tonight. This is great. <laughs> I hope you'll Show the that. audience. Show the audience how to cut it up. Oh my god, look at that. It's That's like so little chunks. This is so good. That was so much fun. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I should have let you guys watch that. That was a good time. So then this is where you, you know. Oh, it. this is where you use the pick. The and hair just pick. make sure. And, uh, it, it actually goes through here. That's what the hair pick is for. Yeah, I know. But you can do this part too. Yeah. <laughs> I like this. Ta-da. There you go. Have fun. As if I had hair, now I know what it's like. Go through it. So now what's next? Um, so it looks like I just put all the stuff in a bowl basically. and mix. Yep. So I'm just take the bowl that I already have the beans in because it's a big ass bowl. Yep. And I'm just gonna. Top comes off. So you just dump it in. Dump everything in and mix, and that is it. Where's your spoon? Um. Okay. I'm only allowed one spoon a day. Got it. If he ever please. comes to your house, watch out for your spoons because he uses many of them. Yeah. Although he does wash them. I'll give him that. Alright, so I'm just going to mix all the stuff together in the bowl and mix it up and I'll show you what it looks like when I'm done. This tool. It's like almost like thinning shears yeah. for the for the cilantro and she showed me how to do it 
It looks like it's a lot of effort, so I'm just gonna man slice it up. These are herb scissors. Herb, I got them. Herb scissors. Herb scissors. I got them recently uh, at Bed Bath and Beyond because we cut herbs all the time, and if you do it constantly with a knife, you actually end up bruising the herbs before you put them in, and it damages some of the flavor trying to come out of the leaves. So, yeah. They're dead. <clears throat> so this is the this is the more fun way to do it. <laughs> I mean, I'm just mangling this bunch right up here. In a way, it's kind of like watching Tim use regular knives with the herbs the way he's using Or this. regular scissors. Or regular scissors. But it's like five knives at once. You feel like Edward Scissor Fingers? Edward Herb Fingers. You want the leaves, you don't want the stalks. I don't want the stalks? Okay, cilantro, no you don't want the stalks. You want the apparently. leaves, not the stalks. Okay. Becca was like all dainty picking it up. I'm just gonna mangle this bunch up with. Yeah, get it, get it. This is a dangerous cooking show, but that's that's yeah, that's it. Caution: Do not try this at home. Well, you should. It's you, a you good should. recipe. It's just good TV. Sex and danger sells. There you go. And then there's a special tool, just like the pick for the. Veggie chopper is just smaller and green, and it cleans out the herbs from the scissors. Skizzers. You pronounce every letter you see. <laughs> shut that off now. So there's a couple options for mixing. One, as I will use, Mr. Derek Weber had taught me how to do this. Take the bowl, you take a dish, put it over the top, and you... Shake vigorously. Shake vigorously. That is not a Parkinson's joke. We love all of our friends with Parkinson's. Oh my God. You really get your abs working. Like washing machine. Like, look at that. What? Shake it, baby. Shake it. And actually, that worked out really well. The other option was how Becca suggested, which is using your hands. But this actually came out really well. There you go. Show the folks. Oh, that looks beautiful. Like, professionale. Oh, yeah. Don't spill it on the floor. So that is it, I think. Becca, yep, that's for it. her assistance. And uh -huh. Derek, for his commentary. <laughs> Whether or not it was asked for. <laughs> I, I appreciate you all watching. Tune in next time. It's already in the fridge. Just so you guys can see the outtakes afterwards. This is so fucking good. And by the way, this makes 12 servings. But for me, I'm hoping it's going to last me the week. <laughs> Good luck with that. Six servings for ten. Mm, okay. Or maybe, maybe four. Four <laughs> servings for ten. <laughs> so good. Uh,